In this video, we are going to explain one midpoint circle drawing algorithm example. So, in this particular example, we shall see that how the midpoint circle drawing algorithm can be implemented. Let us solve one problem on midpoint circle drawing algorithm. So, here is the problem. So, draw a circle with the radius 8 unit. So, here we are having this circle to be drawn with the radius 8 unit. That means, if you go for the previous document, you can find that here this radius is of 8 unit means this particular point is having the coordinate x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 8 here. So, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 8. So, that is the first point we are going to have here. Okay. Now, see. So, pk is equal to 1 minus r. So, we did that calculation in the previous video that pk is equal to 1 minus r. So, initially p0 is equal to 1 minus r. So, 1 minus r will be that and pk plus 1 will be the respective expression we have calculated in the previous video. We have explained how this expression has come. So, now iteration 0, we are having this 0 is x and 8 is y. So, x k y k and here pk is equal to 1 minus 8. So, that is minus 7. So, as p k is less than uh, less than uh, as p k is less than 0 that means minus 7 is less than 0. So, y k plus 1 will be y k. So, next y k plus 1 will be remaining as y k and next point will be x k plus 1 y k. So, here you see so x k plus 1. So, 0 plus 1 1 will be there and y k will be the next y k plus 1. So, y k will remain the same. So, now we are having this x k, y k, x k plus 1, y k plus 1. Now, we are going to calculate this p k plus 1. So, what is the formula for p k plus 1? p k, p k means here minus 7. So, minus 7 we have written 2 into x k plus 1. So, 2 into x k means 0 plus 1 plus y k plus 1 whole square. So, that is our 8 square. We are finding this one as 8 square minus y k square. So, we are finding this one as 8 square. 64 minus 64 minus here we are having this y k plus 1. So, y k plus 1 we are having this 8 here and here we are having this y k. So, that is also 8. So, 8 minus 8 plus 1 plus 1 is coming from this formula. We are getting this one as minus 4. So, minus 4 is my next p k. So, as this is my x k plus 1 y k plus 1 1 8. So, we have written this 1 8 here again and here we have calculated this p k that is our minus 4. So, as it is minus 4, so it is less than 0. So, y k plus 1 will, will be remaining as y k and x k plus 1 y k will be the next point. So, you can see that this y k we have kept same and this x k has got incremented by 1. So, using this x k y k and x k plus 1 y k plus 1 values, putting them in this particular formula and also using p k, we have calculated this new p k plus 1 and that is 1 here. So, as it is 1, so it is a positive quantity. So, you know that p k greater than equal to 0 is true. So, y k plus 1 is equal to y k minus 1. So, the next coordinate will be x k plus 1 y k minus 1. So, here you can find that next coordinate has become 2 has been replaced by 3 then in the next coordinate and 8 has become 7 because y k is equal to y k minus 1. So, again we are doing the calculation of this p k plus 1, this process is getting repeated. You can easily see that everything is in front of you. So, you can do the calculations yourself and this process will be terminated when this x k plus 1 is greater than y k plus 1. That means the first, first octant we have crossed and uh, whenever we are having this x k plus 1 is less than equal to y k plus 1, then we continued and here we have uh, we have terminated this process. So, here we have got all the x k y k values. So, now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have got 6 points here. So, these are the 6 points we have written again and now in the first quadrant we are having this respective plus minus you can easily find that the other coordinates, uh, coordinates are getting calculated and in this way for the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant, all these values, all the coordinates are getting calculated and everything is in front of you. You can take a note from here. The x and y values are swapped from the bottom to top with the upper half. So, there is a shaded region you can find and here we have drawn the respective circle. So, here we have drawn the respective circle. You can easily find that how this circle has been drawn here. So, all these points we have got in the first quadrant calculation. So, we had the six points. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, we are having these six reflected points. Again, we are having these six points, six points. Again, we are having these six points and six points are there. 
and in this way the full circle has been drawn so now this is my document I'm just scrolling this one in front of you very slowly so that you can take the note and you do the calculation at your end yourself for the better understanding and here we have drawn the circle here thanks for watching this video